So in this video we're going to be finishing off our search box. At the moment we can type in the search box and it will return any posts that match our search query. But what we're going to do is we're going to enable it so that when you click on a post it's going to take you to the profile page of the user who posted it and it's going to focus on the post that you clicked on. So let's get started. So whenever we type into the search box we get this response and it returns this JSON and one of the items that's returned that we're not actually displaying is the username of the person who wrote the post. So that way we know how to get to that user's profile because we have the username. So I have our index page open here and I'm going to scroll down to the JavaScript. So here's the JavaScript for our search box and if I scroll across here you can see here is the list item that we're displaying in the search box. So we're going to put a link in here. And the link's going to go to profile.php question mark username equals and here what we're going to do is we're going to put in r i just like before when we retrieved the body but this time we're going to retrieve the username as you can see here. So we're going to go to r i dot username. So now if I refresh and I type in hello world from you can see these are now links and if I click on this link it takes me to the profile page of the user who wrote that post. But what we're going to do now is we're going to shoot down to the post that the user clicked on. So to do that what we're going to do is go to the profile page. So what we're going to do is we're going to give every single list item an ID. So we're going to say ID equals and we're going to say ID is equal to the post ID. So to do that what we do is we just put in the two double quotes then we put in the two single quotes to split the string and then now that we're outside the string we can use the variable so we say posts index and we want to say posts index dot post id just like we did here. So now every single post will have an id of whatever its post id is. So in the case of this top post the id is 37, in the second one the id is 34, it just depends on whatever the post's id actually is. And what you can do in HTML when you have something's id is you can put in a hash and I can say a hash 1 and that will take me to the post with the id of 1. So if I hit enter you can see now it's taking me to the bottom of the page because that's the post with the id of 1. But what we're going to do is we're going to make it look a bit nicer so we're going to go back into our javascript, we're going to scroll up and we're going to define a function. So I just got this function off of Stack Overflow, I'll include the link to the page I got it from in the description. So all we need to do to make this function work is just delete that bit and just replace it with the variable. We copy the name of the function and inside of our document.ready and then inside of that we have our ajax request. So we look for the success method which is here. That means after we get all the data back from the ajax request we scroll down to the bottom of that and underneath that we just paste in our function and then we write location.hash and you can see if I type in location.hash, we get nothing at the minute. But if I type in location.hash after I type in hash1, you can see we get hash1 printed out. So we're just passing that to our scroll to anchor function. So now we're going to run this. I put in hash1 and now I'm going to refresh the page. And now you can see we got zoomed down to the bottom of the page, which is where the post with the ID of 1 is. So what we're going to do to finish off is we're going to go back to index and on the search page, we're going to go to profile.php question mark username equals username and then we're going to say hash and here what we're going to do is put in the post id so to do that we just we just put in r i we aren't returning the id yet so what we want to do is go to our api and you can see here is the search part of the api and what we're going to do is we're just going to say select posts dot id as well now we save that we go back to index we access the current post and we access the id field of that the id corresponds to the name of the field we got from the database. So now if I go to the index page and we try this out. So if I say hello world from, I click on this, it takes us to the profile page and it scrolls down to hello world from post.php. So that's it for this video. Don't forget to like, comment, favorite and subscribe. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Twitter and Reddit. If you have any questions, don't forget to email me at francis at But that's it for this video and I'll see you next time.